Good morning again, Internet. Um, I wanted to address some of the things going on surrounding the um, Tesla announcement about trucks. Now, I've made a couple of videos about this already, and one of them has had a lot of feedback um, for, you know, a lot of people interacting, a lot of views, a lot of comments, and a lot of people have some really good points about it. So I want to talk about a little bit of that. Um, one of the viewers made a point about um, how this there's more kinds of trucking than just long haul trucking. And, um, I failed to address that. And that's absolutely correct. Um, not every trucker and not every truck is a long haul truck, meaning not every truck drives from the East coast to the West coast or, um, you know, many, many thousands of miles. Many trucks live their entire lives in one central location, um, you know, surrounding a hub or a distribution center. Um, for example, there might be a central distribu distribution center for a grocery store um, that services and supplies all of the grocery stores of a chain, you know, surrounding that hub. And the trucks go to the um, distribution center, fill up with everything that the stores need, and then go from store to store and supply them. Um, but that truck might not even ever leave its home county, let alone its home state. And in that case, the 500 mile range makes a lot of sense, um, especially if the companies who are utilizing the Teslas can put a charging station, you know, ideally inside that distribution center so that while the trucks are being loaded, um, they they could be getting a charge. Now that, um, that would solve the problem. Um, and that would make for more than sufficient range. So under those circumstances, um, perhaps my skepticism of the Tesla semi truck was a little premature. And, um, I really am grateful to a lot of you for pointing that out to me. Um, so that, that, the idea of the sort of distribution center trucking model uh, makes a lot of sense. Um, for the long, long haul, I have a lot of people saying that, it, oh, it's plenty, it's plenty, it's plenty. A trucker's going to have to stop um, before 500 miles of driving anyway. And, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, um, I, yes and no. Um, a trucker is... I, I don't know, having never been a long haul trucker myself, how often one may or may not have to stop. But I do know that um, a traditional diesel is going to have, you know, potentially 800 to 1,000 miles range where a Tesla is only going to have 500. Um, the idea isn't whether or not the trucker is going to have an opportunity to stop. Of course, the trucker will have an opportunity to stop. There's truck stops everywhere. The idea that you know, but where my skepticism comes from is will the trucker have an opportunity to stop at a location that has a charge point available for his truck? That is the question. I understand that there are superchargers around and that they are talking about building many, many, many more. I don't know who foots the bill for that. Do we sell those to the truck stops themselves? Well, truck stops are mostly owned by, owned by oil companies. What interest would they have in installing superchargers and promoting this change? Um, that's you know, a, a, a problem that I don't, I don't know. I have no idea how to address that. I don't know if it's going to be addressed. Um, so that's the thing. These supercharged stations are going to be extremely expensive to, you know, to, to purchase and to install, to build all that. Um, and I don't know that that's necessarily going to be cost effective. Um, the amount, our interstates and our freeways, um, all, all of our interstate highways and everything, it's a massive web. It's a huge network. So there's no saying. We have gas stations and truck stops, I mean, just dotted everywhere. And in order for, um, and this is to service trucks that can go more than 500 miles. So in order to service um, trucks that can only go 500 miles, I would think you would need at least as many charge points as you have truck stops, if not more, because the need to charge, because the range is so reduced, it's literally around half. Um, so, I mean, the idea that those things are going to, that the charge stations are going to be able to be built in the timeline that they're suggesting that these trucks are going to be able to start running that's where my skepticism comes in. However, if the trucks are utilized in a distribution center rather than, and, and, you know, that trucking model rather than the interstate long haul trucking model, then yes, there it absolutely does make a lot of sense um, and absolutely is helpful. So 
you know, I definitely see both sides of the coin here. This this Tesla truck thing has got a lot of people really stirred up. I'm one of them. It's got a lot of people curious about the future and what Tesla's a actually capable of and what electric cars are actually capable of. So um, I had one person say, um, you know, in all caps, um, solar panels on top of the trailers. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. I don't know how efficient solar panels are, though. Um, I don't know that. So, I mean, you probably get some extra range out of there. I mean, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. The sun's going to be shining on the top of that trailer anyway. Why not soak it up and get some, some free electricity that way? I love that idea. Um, I don't know, you know, what it would take to, how much more expensive, like what kind of cost does that add to the production of, of the trucks and the trailers themselves? You know, there's a lot of really interesting questions here, but I'm really glad that this conversation has continued the way that it has and that so many of you have interacted. Um, what do you guys think about, you know, the Tesla um, trucks being used from distribution center to distribution center in that, like in, in a sort of hub model rather than the long haul trucking model. Do you think it makes more sense that way? Or do you think that this can just work across all, um, across all modes of trucking? Do you think that the, um, the, the Tesla, Tesla semi truck and the concept of the thing is strong enough to solve these problems, um, for all trucking needs. I really want to know what you guys think. So, um, if you are enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Um, we post a lot more updates on the Instagram and the Twitter for live real time information of what's going on, um, when it's going on. And I'll go ahead and post those in the description. Um, till then I'm Catherine with EVs of Nevada. I hope everybody's having a great day.